good afternoon, good day, good evening, and good night, wherever you are, whenever you may be viewing. Hope you've had a good day, feeling blessed, feeling love. Got outside today, got some fresh air, and just enjoying yourself. And, uh, pop in to do a uh, quick energetic, I don't know about quick necessarily, but an energetic update for uh, collective to see what's going on with the healing and the transformation energy right now. I want to start off this reading by burning a little dragon's blood incense for you. Got that going. Let's get into the shuffle. I was doing a little meditation before this, and I don't know if it's just because I'm outside or if the energy is just this beautiful. But I mean, it feels like good energy right now. It feels like good energy, so we'll see what the cards say. I like the uh, the vibe right now. It's very serene, very peaceful. Just give it one more, just for good measure. To make sure the cards have a nice fresh up. The energy is shaking up. Alrighty. Holy Spirit, what is the main energetic focus of the healing for the collective at this time, please? Starting off, card number 15, honoring your energy. What is the energetic focus of the healing for the collective at this time for the spirit? And we've got card number 33 with master number and integration. And then we've got divine timing with card number 30. What is the main energetic focus of the healing for the collective, please? We got number two, new beginnings. This is good energy. This is like it feels peaceful. What is the main energetic focus of the healing for the collective at this time, please? Spirit? What is the main energetic focus of the healing? Card number 14 with teaching. Seems like in the process of honoring one's energy, you're integrating a lot of the, the lessons that you've been through in past cycles to continue to shed. And that like snake skin to, to shed the, the old so you can continue to make room for the new, for these new beginnings that are, feels like entering your life. Are getting ready to the more you continue to honor your own energy. What is the main energetic focus of the healing for the collective at this time, please, Spirit? What is the main energetic focus of the healing at this time, please, for the collective? Number 35 with the inner journey card. What is the last card? What is the main energetic focus of the healing for the collective, please, Spirit? going to take all these, but these are good cards. Grounding, transformation, and movement into balance for new beginnings. After doing the work to shed the old skin of cycles and habits, maybe patterns, things that no longer serve you along this inner journey process, as you continue to honor your own energy, continue to bloom upwards just by standing in your own truth and, and love for yourself and then spreading that with others. What is the main energetic focus of the healing for the collective, please, at this time, Spirit? One more card. What is the main energetic focus of the healing for the collective, please? One more card. What is the main energetic focus of the healing for the collective, please? One more card, Spirit. One more. Card number 36. 
card number 38, growth. Alrighty, put these back on the ground here. The wind is blowing. Feels like some of you are coming out of the tail end of a either dark night of the soul or like a introspection and reflection break. Feels like it's been necessary though. Feels like in the process of it that you have prepared yourself for new beginnings. Seeing through this process though, through the the journey that you've been on to finding a better sense of uh, center within yourselves, that um, a lot of things are about to, that have been manifested, not manifested, but the intentions, the seeds that have been planted for your manifestations are getting ready to come in if they're not already in your your surroundings. Everything is happening in divine timing one way or another. Like you are heading in the direction that you need to be to continue to end out cycles that have already been outgrown in a sense. I feel like some of you might be doing that still are in the process of it to also allow for these seeds to continue to take root within your own your own energy which is going to help you to open up into this crown chakra energy even more so like the leaves aren't on this tree yet But they're here. Like you have already started this new beginning for some of you. Like you have finished the transformation. You have bloomed. Beautifully at that. Very beautifully. Um, I've seen this was a dark night for some of you with uh, the energy of this card here. But it has helped you to fully integrate and to master and bring yourself into more balance with some of your own emotions, giving giving you a better sense of centeredness. Feeling that some of you are sharing your journey for what you have been through. And for some of you, this is that new beginning is for you to start sharing the healing journey that you've been on maybe just different things in life you've been through and learned from the different cycles of your own inner journey and just life circumstances around you that has helped you to become more balanced within yourself
the smooth beginnings part with the nest here and the eggs. And then I'm listening to the birds chirping in the background. Like some of you may be getting ready to welcome a child into your life. In which case, congratulations to you. That is a that is a big new beginning. And that is definitely going to open the door to teaching for you. So again, congratulations on the new chapter in your life. Um, Feeling for some of you, there's a there's a need to be more grounded, to ground more. It's gonna help you find that balance within, and it's going to help you to better align with your own energy, your own emotions, to see what's out of alignment within. Maybe some things that could be released, but in the process of you doing that, it's going to help you to water these seeds, these intentions, these things that you're trying to manifest. And through that, you're going to help yourself bloom. To bloom and to grow into these new beginnings. This is just a very peaceful energy. Like this feels more like, more like being past a lot of the, anything that might've felt heavy energetically or just kind of off-centered. Like this is really just stepping into this new growth, like the, these new beginnings. Like the work has been done. That's what it feels like. And this is also stepping out of that inner journey a little bit and maybe you found a different path that you are looking to take now and whichever path that is like it's leading to new growth to new to new beginnings new opportunities to learn too some of you might be actual teachers
the energy of the cards, like the cards don't really show, but it feels like you're, a lot of you are moving into like a really abundant new time period. I'm just looking at the teaching card with the leaves off of it, like falling off the tree, but then the leaves are right here. And that tree is going to grow bountiful and it's going to have a lot of fruits, acorns that come from it. Some of your next endeavors will be really fruitful. Really fruitful. I'm hoping so for you. feeling like if some of you have been going through like a, a bout of sadness maybe that you might be releasing that and like coming into a more more aligned sense of inner happiness inner peace inner joy so I'm like looking at the the branches here they're kind of like a little limped over a little sad a little droopy but right here growing upward in a nice linear in a nice linear fashion in a way that is um, it's aligned for you more whole more integrated within yourself It's all happening in, in the timing that it needs to. Like wherever you are in your path, you're you're in the perfect timing. Like you're right on time. You just gotta continue to honor not only your own energy but just your process in general. Your your spiritual path, your truth. With this with these new beginnings I'm feeling like some of you are definitely walking into a lot of new new fruitful cycles new cycles of abundance and these are cycles with different people as well again with different opportunities for teaching but also in the process for learning I'm seeing all the spirals along the, the border of this uh, card as like different people. That's the cicada. The cicadas are are significant for transformation, for shedding away that old, like the cicada skin, coming out with new wings, strong wings. Honoring your truth, singing your song loudly, without caring who who hears. Standing in your truth without caring caring who sees. It's a little little caterpillar crawling on me. So I'm feeling like, oh, my bad. I'm going to put you right there. Again, some of you have been in that caterpillar stage, but you are done with your transformation or almost there, and you are ready to be that butterfly and to stretch those wings and to fly into your new beginnings, onto a new journey. Or the room for growth is going to be what you make it really like the room for for potential is infinite yeah I'm, I feel like that's pretty pretty straightforward though 
get into your transformation. Spirit is my energetic focus of the transformation for the collective at this time, please. This is my energetic focus of the transformation for the collective at this time, please. This is my energetic focus of the transformation for the collective at this time, please. And grace. Card number eight to start for your transformation, which is beautiful to see. Stepping into your own new beginnings and with joy. Again, so I'm feeling like for some of you who might have been feeling a little bit sad or like a little down or just a little off centered like by you honoring your energy and just the timing of your own process you're creating more room for just the blessings that are in store for you in general but also for that self-love to grow within and the more the more you honor that it's going to radiate within but then also outwardly so the way the graces on that card that's going to be reflected in and around you. This is the main energetic focus of the transformation for the collective at this time, please. Spirit. This is the main energetic focus of the transformation for the collective at this time, please. Spirit. Prayer. This is the main energetic focus of the transformation at this time, please, Spirit, for the collective. This is the main energetic. There we go. I like to see that ascent. So it's definitely, again, feeling like the, the end of this little break mode that some of you have been in, or a dark night of the soul, or just this pause that you've been on, because now it is time for you to step into those new beginnings to enjoy this new growth that you have in store for you. It's in this new journey, the part of this next ascent in your path. This is the main energetic focus of the transformation for the collective free spirit. What is the main energetic focus of the transformation for the collective at this time, free spirit? Perspective. Card number five of the fire energy. Well, lots of change. Shifts in perspective. Seeing more eye to eye with yourself. Feeling like having that inner childlike joy as well. And just more a feeling of maybe like youthfulness like energy to yourself after coming out of this rest mode maybe for some of you that's true oh yeah because it doesn't again it doesn't feel like a um a dark night of the soul for everybody it just feels like like a, a break but now it is time for that break mode to end you have new beginnings to pursue, new growth to obtain, new things to learn, new lessons for life to teach you. This is the main energetic focus of the transformation for the collective at this time, please, Spirit. Got the Descent card. For for um for some of you, you might still be in that dark night of the soul, but with just trusting your own process, your own the timing of things for you, like knowing that on the other side is is a better understanding of yourself, honestly, as well as your blessings, as well as like things that you're working on and manifesting, but a better sense of yourself. I'm looking at that with this magnifying glass. This is the main energetic focus of the transformation for the collective free spirit. This is the main energetic focus of the transformation for the collective free spirit. What is the main energetic focus of the transformation for the collective free spirit? Got the journey card. 
this is the main energetic focus of the transformation of the reflective spirit. That's too many. One more, please. This is the main energetic focus of the transformation of the reflective spirit. One more, please. Spirit, what is the energetic focus of the transformation for the collective at this time, please? What is the energetic focus of the transformation for the collective at this time, please, Spirit? Emergence with card number nine. All right. So again, this is definitely time for some of you to continue on that path to finish. I don't know. I don't want to say, tell you what to do or anything like that, but like what I'm picking up on is some of you are definitely done with that dark night of the soul with whatever pause or break mode you've been on and you are ascending along your next journey, which is beautiful to see. And this is this is what's necessary for your emergence. Like it's not time to to question yourself really it's time for you to stand in your power with grace with certainty know that your prayers your manifestations the thing that you're working on are being answered you're gonna see them you're gonna see them the more you continue to trust your own path and your own intuition and guidance as you continue to move forward. Regardless of what's going on right now, you are heavily supported by the divine, your ancestors, descendants, God of the universe, the gods, goddesses you work with. They're all around you. getting by some of you connecting more with your guides that's going to help you move out of this um what may feel like a descent and help you make that transition into that ascent mode for the next part of your journey Some of your intuition is just on fire right now. Like you might, some of you are clear cognizant. Like you just know things. <laughs> I'm looking at uh, the crown of the faces of the moon above her head, and then kind of how she's just looking, gazing into the moon. Like the look on her face is just like one of like not surprised. Like you've known your emergence was coming. Like you've been patiently waiting and done all the inner work so that when you do make this emergence you you do so from a more integrated sense of yourself. 
of your higher self, of the divinity within you. More confidence as well. And the balance of your masculine and feminine energy. Grace and confidence. And this has not been a been an easy journey. Easier for some than others, harder for some than others. But regardless, like the work that you've put in to get to where you are right now is well earned. For some of you, you're feeling like if you are feeling like you're in this mode right now, that as you work through it, you are going to also come come out with a heightened intuition, sense of discernment to help you move along your path, but it's going to help you appreciate the things that you've been praying for in this in this time period, the things that you've been working on manifesting. Seeing some of you might be getting some information regarding some things you've been looking for within the next day, nine days. This number nine card just started sliding as I was talking about it. Five to nine days. So I'm looking at this insight card right here, or the perspective card, the number five. Within five to nine days, some of you could feel who are feeling like you're still more in like the negative aspect of of this, like feeling within the five to nine days, feeling that lighten up and really stepping into that ascent and grace. Grace card just blew over the descent. Be patient with your with yourself. Be graceful with yourself, despite how you resonate with this this reading, any part of it. But just move with grace within yourself for yourself. feeling like this feels like a really straightforward read 
So just know like it feels like for the most of you you are you're out of whatever break modes, dark night of the souls, pauses, rests that you've taken. And that was much needed for you to be able to be more balanced and centered within your own energies, more integrated sense of yourself. But now you are ready to keep going forward. Like the, the emergence really, for whatever it is that, that is the next phase and path of your life and seeing the, the fruits of your labor in the process, these acorns, manifesting and growing some bountiful trees of, of plenty. Some of you could work with Shiva and Kali or any other Hindu deities. Somebody could be in the military who's watching this. It could be uh, stationed overseas. Or it could be going on a um, what's, the, what's the word I'm looking for? On a tour. some of you this could be the, the information that you'll be getting in the next five to nine days or some of you could be taking a trip in the next five to nine days Somebody could be getting a new dog. That could also be happening within the next five to nine days for somebody. I think I'm gonna leave your reading there though. I think that's all I'm, I'm feeling right now. It's a really good energy, really good, like calm, peaceful energy, really. It's nothing, nothing outlandish, which is great. <laughs> like, I know the collective has been through uh, some, some hard times. You know, a lot of us have. But, um, yeah, I'm going to leave it there for you. Let's figure out where you uh, fall in line with the energy, where, where this is your story. Take what, take what fits. Please leave what doesn't. Other than that, enjoy the rest of your day. Stay blessed. Feel safe. Love y'all. Peace.